Hi everyone, it's Eric Goins from Automate Intelligently here. Today I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to put in a paywall on your app based off of how long the user has been on the app. And the idea behind this is maybe you want to create something like a 14 day free trial where the user can use the app for a period of time. And then after that, you would require them to pay or you know upgrade their account. So the first thing is you need to have some way to identify whether a user is paid or not. So I've just put in a check mark here that says paid, but you could also have a collection of plans and then you could add the plan to the user. You just need some way to indicate on the user's account that they have upgraded, paid, and whether they should be able to access the app or not. I've broken out the process into kind of three screens here and I've labeled these just so you can see them and then I'll show you kind of a much a better way to do it within your app. The first thing is when users log in, we don't do anything on the on the sign up page because uh, you you shouldn't need to check this out when the user is signing up. If you want to if the user needs to pay automatically when you know before they can use the app then from the sign up page, you should just take them directly to an upgrade required page. But um, if in, in this scenario, you're looking at a paywall after a certain amount of time. So the first thing is we start with our login screen and here we're only going to validate that it is a user. So we'll log them in and then we're going to send them to this blank loading screen. Now, I've just labeled this for your visual um, knowledge uh, so you can recognize this and this loading screen has two conditional actions there's no available data but we already know who the logged in user is and we run two actions based off that the first one is if the user is paid we take them directly to the home screen we don't need to check anything we just want to see if they're if they've paid or not and then the second action we perform is that if they haven't paid so sometimes logged in user paid is false. What we're going to do is we're going to check how long that how long they've been a user on the app. So let's go to um, our actions here and we have two linkages. The first one is if the logged in user created date is after two weeks ago. Uh, actually, you know, this should be before two weeks ago. No, after two weeks ago. That was right. <laughs> it's sometimes uh, weird when you think about that timeline, but you want it to be after two weeks ago, then you want to take them to the home screen. If the logged in user created date is before two weeks ago, then we push them to the upgrade required page. That prevents them from moving forward in this process and it will take them directly to this payment page and they won't be able to bypass this until they pay. You could have a list of plans here that they can select from whatever, uh, however you're monetizing your app, but they'll be stuck here as long as you don't give them some other way to go through this. Um, you could eventually in the future when Nadalo implements it, you should be able to do this directly from your home page. Um, you could have something that says if the user created date is before um, two weeks ago, uh, take them to this upgrade required page. But Adalo um, conditional actions uh, for linkages don't allow us to have two filters or an and if kind of or statement here. So we can't check if the user has paid or not. So that's why we use the two screens. Now let's see this in action. I have two accounts here. Uh, one is just called business. The other one's called user. Unfortunately for this example, neither of them are over 14 days old. So we're not going to end up on the payment screen. But what I'll do is I'll log out. And let's go to user at email.com. Let's put in our password. And let's log in. So you'll see we go to paid check, we go to 14 day check, and then we go to the home screen. That means the user hasn't paid and we checked how long they've been on the app. Let's check for business.
we'll go to our paid check and we go directly to our home screen because the business has um, the business is has paid. Now, one thing you can do to make this experience better is to take out the transitions between these. So on the submit button, what we can do is when we link to the loading screen, remove the transition from push and to go to none. And do the same on these two slides uh, or pages. So loading one, loading and loading two. So uh, let's go to our action. In particular, this one. And take the transition to none. Transition none. And what you want to do here is obviously you do not want the, the text. I mean, that's for your knowledge, um, what you're doing on these screens. But what you can do is just put in your logo here. And let's do that very quickly. Images. Um, let's go find a logo that I have. Um, let's upload the logo. And the idea is that they that once you do this, as long as these are in the exact same spot, um, the user shouldn't be able to tell that they're flipping through screens. So it should just be a slightly slightly longer loading period. But depending on the phone speed, it should be very fast, and the users won't see that. And then it only gets faster as they upgrade. So let's go to user at email.com password and we, once we log in, we'll just go to the screen and we're actually going between the screens now. You just don't see it. And we just go to the home screen. Again, I think that this happens faster on a user's phone, so you won't have that lag period. That's one way to put in a paywall based off of how long the user has been on the app. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below or reach out to me directly. Thanks.